Kyron, you're third in the NFL right now in scrimmage yards per game. That may be news to you, maybe not. Um, the way you've played recently, I'm sure maybe not a total surprise, but um, you know, being able to contribute as a runner and also targeting the passing game, just what's that been like for you? It's been fun. You know, this is what I love to do. I love having the ball in my hands, whether that's running the ball, catching the ball, or even like, you know, the screen. It don't matter. I just like being able to possess the ball and do what I do best. So, you know, being third in scrimmage yards, that's great. Um, that's something I, I don't work for, but it's something that just comes. And I mean, it's obviously a blessing because um, just to be where I'm at now compared to where I was at last year, it's just everything right now is a blessing. For you guys overall as an offense, you're, you're obviously clicking at a really good time, putting up 30 plus points. Um, Last, several, last few weeks. What's working well as a unit for you guys right now? I think it's our commodity. Uh, commodity. I don't know, whatever. Commodity is one. You know, yeah, we're playing, yeah. as the offense, we're playing 11 as one. You know, we're, we're there for each other, whether it's good or bad plays. You know, we're picking each other up in the huddle and we're just communicating. That's the biggest thing uh, Coach McVay talks about, being able to communicate and talk to each other, um, whether that's right or wrong. You know, just being able to just to be out there and, and play as one. That's, I feel like that's what we've been, as a team and as an offense, what we've been doing. But, um, yeah, Chris McVay says it all the time. Playing your best ball in December is what matters most, and that's what we're doing. One part of that, obviously, is the play of late of, of Matthew Stafford. Just, I know it's probably the you know, Matthew that you guys have all you know are used to and expect at this point. But uh, even so, what, what if anything stood out to you about the way he's played, especially over the last four weeks? Uh, just his leadership ability. He's great command of the game. You know, he's in a huddle. He's commanding everything. He's telling us, "All right, guys." This is what we need. This is what we need to do. Calm down. We don't. We don't gotta do too much. You know, he's just he calls. He comes in there. And he just sets the sets the vibe to what is. You know, we're just gonna go after and get what we need to do. Um, so you know, his play has been leading. It's, it's never been no surprise to me. You know, obviously he's been doing it for a very long time, but it's just his great command as an offense. Um, that's really what keeps us going. Then lastly, as you are working through your preparation for the Commanders this Sunday, what stands out about their defense and and, and what do you kind of keying in on as you uh, yeah. continue that preparation? Um, obviously, the, their old line, their D-line is great. Uh, they got a two two guys up for 94, 93. They're great uh, players. They, they cause havoc in the run game and do what they got to do um, as long as we're, as long as we're the linebackers too. But um, I don't think it's really much on what they do. It's more on what we do and how we do it um, and playing the game to our, to our liking and controlling the pace, whether that's running the ball, passing the ball, you play action, it don't matter. We got to be able to control what we do and do it to the fullest and, you know, execute it. Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate, Appreciate the time. You. Yep. Thanks. Thank you.